What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're at the uh, skid pan at uh, Mount Cotton. It's gonna be my first go, sorta of taking the 135i around on some wet. And yeah, I'm gonna try and get the hang of uh, controlling it around corners and stuff, because that's not something that I've done much work on. I've um, come down with Ali here. No worries. He's kinda of forced me into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good fun. I mean, skid controls, it's a wet, uh, wet track. The advantage of it is you learn the limits of your car and how it control you know when the car loses out or you spin out at least you know how to control it or what to do in that scenario and this is in a controlled environment because with my my car i find if it's a dry corner and i sort of kick it sort of just comes back in by itself it's a bit predictable but in the wet yeah there's a lot more driver control in the wet got to learn the limits of the tires and the car and stuff like that We have an M2CS here. First time I've actually seen one in action. I'm quite a fan of the uh, M2CSs. They're a pretty, uh, pretty nice rig. BMW did a really good job on them. Alright guys, that was a that was a load of fun. Just did a sesh. <laughs> Mitch, how you feeling? Well that was good, I got I improved. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, Mitch was doing heaps better. I feel like I was less inclined to send it the first time with the instructor. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm definitely going to come out in a couple of months. Uh, for sure. It was so much fun. For a second, let's go. How are you so driving in? Have you been out the circuit yet? Nah. Okay, let's drive it. Come on. Turn it in. Power up. Try and get your vision looking further forward. Mm -hmm. oh, it's got some poke in it. It's, it's noisy. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> sounds mental, eh? Fucking grips this thing. It's so grippy. It's fucking grippy. Got a bit better. That was definitely heaps better, dude. That was awesome. That was such a fun day. Oh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna go back there. It's so important to have driver training. Uh, my drifting skills are obviously. I, I've never drifted this car before, and I really, really want to be able to control it well because. I feel if I'm on track at any point in time and I actually lose the car, I won't freak out. The minutes leading up to it, I was getting so nervous to send my car sideways and I thought I was going to use, lose complete control of the vehicle. Like I, was, I was genuinely getting nervous. And um, the, so the first time I went out, I was a bit like, wasn't that crash hot. Second time, I let Shane drive my car because I wanted to see someone that was skill, like what the car's actually capable of. And then the third time, so I had a send it mentality and I um, hopped in and I came around like the, one of the big corners and I had it sideways the whole way, transitioned to the next corner sideways, transitioned to the next corner sideways and I nearly went all the way around that one and then up straight and then around the next corner again. Um, so it was a massive, like massive improvement from the first go. It's fun to just keep the car sideways continually and on a wet road. Anyways, I'm off to uh, Bob Jane T-Mart at Strathpine or Launton, uh, the local shop that I go to for all my tire stuff. Uh, to get a, the alignment fixed up. My alignment's not too crash hot at the moment because of the uh, diff issues that I was having with all the vibrations and threw the alignment out. I need to get a better microphone for in-car use. Since I did those diff mounts, the tyres and this diff, like with the solid mounts, it's loud. 